Okay, so uh, I am uh, about to log on as my user Chris Jones at examlabpractice.com. I went ahead and opened up my browser in cognito mode so that the uh, the it didn't remember my previous logons, and we could log on as Chris Jones as though he, we were that user, and we can test out the ability of PIM. Uh, allow Chris Jones to go through and accept that role. Okay, so we're just going to sign in as Chris Jones. Okay, got my password entered. Going to go ahead and sign in now. All right, we'll go ahead and get get logged in here. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to try to create a user as Chris Jones. So if we go to our menu bar here, uh, we're going to go to Azure Active Directory. All right, we're going to click on Users. And we're going to go and try to create a user. And as you can see, we cannot. Okay, we cannot. It will not allow us to go through and create this user. So uh, we've got to get power to do that. We've got to get a role as Chris Jones to do this. So we're going to go over here to the menu bar. We're going to go to all services. We're going to search for privileged identity management right here. Okay. And then from there, we can look at my roles. Okay. Chris Jones ha has a role that he is eligible for, right? Which is the user administrator. Okay, and it will expire um, a few days from when we activated it. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and allow this user to activate the role, and we can specify the maximum amount of time the user can activate the role. Okay, which from our settings that was configured in PIM that was set to eight hours. All right, so we can select that. Uh, allow this role to be activated, but notice something, it's going to require uh, additional verification. Okay, so the user is going to have to go through that process of MFA. All right, so at this point, we put in a phone number and it's going to send a, a code to this number, which of course uh, I have the phone, so I'm going to enter in the code. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and click to verify that. All right, so we've successfully verified MFA, and we are officially ready to activate the role. So we've got this one, and then we got to give a reason. This is our justification, and we'll say needed to create new employee user accounts. So we'll put that in, and we'll say activate. So it's going through the process of, of validating it all. And then it's going to hopefully officially uh, activate it for us. Okay, so it took a minute to activate, then it went away. And from there, you're going to notice that my user uh, has this activated. You'll notice that the user has the ability to now go and create a user. So why don't we go and do that? All right. So this was the, the role that we could activate. If we, click it, act, if we look at active roles, you can see it is activated. That's the state it's in. So don't get confused because a lot of times when people see eligible roles, they're like, wait a minute, did it get activated or not? Yes, it did. If you look right here, it's activated, okay? So now let's go to the menu bar, uh, button here. We'll click on Azure Active Directory. And drum roll, here we go users and we can create a new user so as you can see it did successfully go through all right all right well hopefully that gives you a good understanding now of of working with PIM it's a great feature it's a, a relatively intuitive feature pretty easy to use and um, you got to see it from the point of creating the the uh, the PIM uh, activation for a role and then you've seen the user go through and and add it. So hopefully that gives you, you guys a good understanding of how that works. And I encourage you now to jump in there and play around with it a little bit. Look through some of the settings and, and, get, and help wrap your brain around PIM. I hope you're enjoying the content so far. I wanted you to know that I'm trying really hard to build this channel. And it would help me out so much if you would take the time to like and subscribe to the channel. Alright, and with that said, let's get back to the video.